It's been an incredible journey. I work at the United Nations World Food Program. For those of you who don't know it, our mission is to end hunger. And traditionally, we've practically been a logistics company. We ship grain around the world like corn and rice, you know, from where it was available to where it was needed. And uh, for me, when I first proposed this uh, to WFP, it was a bit of a hard sell. Like, people are like, what do you, why do we need Bitcoin at WFP? And it took a while to sort of say, okay, you know, there's Bitcoin and everything, and then there's the underlying technology blockchain, and that's what we want to do. And we eventually got the green light to, you know, start testing this out. This is now being implemented in a refugee camp, or actually two of them, in, uh, in Jordan for Syrian refugees. The people who live there uh, have escaped, you know, horrors. I mean, you might have seen some stuff in the news about what's been going on in Syria. So for a few days leading to the first transaction, we hadn't really slept. And when for the first time a beneficiary or refugee scanned their iris and it worked and the receipt printed out, that's when I took my first breath. I'm like, okay, this is working. And you know, it can uh, sort of the future became a little bit more uh, certain. Um, ever since, we've been trying to scale, uh, scale up. So we started with 100 people, we went to 10,000, we went to 100,000 this January, and we reach, hope to reach 500,000 by the end of this year. <laughs> Thank you. And yeah, I mean, that challenge is always there to make sure this thing works. I mean, we're, you know, this is people's lives. It's, it, we really have to take it uh, with a lot of responsibility. But for me, even, some of my own thoughts and doubts uh, sort of were relieved by that. And that's uh, sort of where I hope to see a little bit more um, my project, at least if it can serve as an example, if there are questions. I mean, there were a lot of questions about scalability of blockchain, and I think we've at least uh, answered some of them as I believe the largest uh, implementation of blockchain technology for humanitarian uh, purposes.